hello youtube today i'm here with a new tutorial and in this video i'm gonna show how to upgrade macOS el capitan to macOS sierra on a pc without reinstallation reformatting and without losing your personal files and folders so guys let's start so friends as you can see currently i am running os x l capitan version 10.11.3 and the build number is 15d21 so before doing upgrade be sure that your hardware is macOS Sierra compatible to upgrade macOS Sierra first you will need to download macOS Sierra from Mac App Store so here is the install macOS Sierra file which I have downloaded from the Mac App Store and you will need to download latest essential cakes like fake SMC your internet cakes sound cakes and null CP power management cakes and of course latest clover bootloader so here is the latest clover bootloader fake smc kex null cpu power management kex because sometimes you will need to re-enable the sound and network after upgrade actually what happens is that these files uh, uh, means uh, these kex are deleted during the process during the upgrade process so you don't need to worry all download links are provided under video in the description so before starting upgrade first you will need to install clover bootloader to mac os x l captain disk my l captain disk is macintosh hd let's install clover bootloader click on continue continue install enter your password now the clover bootloader has been installed click on close so after installing clover bootloader you will see a EFI partition mounted on your desktop so open the EFI partition go to EFI folder clover folder text folder and other folder in this folder you have to copy your essential kicks like fake SMC null CP power management kicks and other kicks so I currently having fake SMC and null CP power main kext. I don't need the sound kext and internet kext because these um, both hardwares are being recognized by motherboard and OS X successfully. So I have only to copy this kext to other folder. Now click on close. After doing this, open macOS Sierra installer. And click on continue click on agree select the license agreement and now select the disk with L Captain. so as before I said my L Captain disk is Macintosh HD and click on install enter your password now the Mac OS Sierra will continue with upgrade After this process, the installer will ask you to reboot your computer. It will not take more than two minutes. Don't worry, guys. Now the computer will reboot in 25 seconds. Now after restarting your computer, the Clover boot loader will boot automatically. And before booting Clover boot loader, you will see one more partition with HFS and with the Apple logo and there will be written boot macOS installed from Macintosh HD as I said earlier my OS X L Captain disk was named Macintosh HD so now select the disk and the upgrade process will start So 
guys the upgrade welcome screen has been open up and here it goes now the upgrade process has been started and this process will take about uh, 20 minutes to an hour see 33 minutes remaining so as I said it will take 20 minutes to an hour so for now wait for some time now after upgrade process your system will restart again and the clover bootloader will boot automatically and now as you can see the hfs partition has in, in, uh, come with macro sierra logo so now and the l captain disk has been removed so select the hfs partition to boot into Mac OS Sierra as it is a first boot it will take some time my entire password So guys as you can see the Mac OS Sierra has been booted up successfully so if you need to re-enable sound or internet use multibest after installing drivers you need to reboot your computer and everything will be fine so now let's check the system version so currently it is Mac OS Sierra version 10.12 and the build number is 16A323 so uh, as you can notice earlier it was Mac OS L Capitan version 10.11.3 and the build number is was 15D21 uh, so now we have a successful upgrade of Mac OS L Capitan to Mac OS Sierra without losing any files or folders see here is the files and folders and the application this was the application only which I have installed on Mac OS L Capitan and note that the even the wallpaper was not changed now you can enjoy all features of Mac OS Sierra such as Siri and all that so I hope this video will be helpful thanks for watching and don't forget to comment like share and subscribe for more updates stay connected have a great day